Hi, I'm Michelle Cooper. This time we're going to talk about a method in watercolor called layering or glazing. This allows us to make darker and darker passages on our paper by drying in between the process of making wet washes. First of all, um, to eliminate the need of unnecessary things while you're on location, you can uh, substitute, instead of a watercolor brush, you can substitute a water brush. Then that has water in it, so we can get rid of the water container. And we also don't need a separate mixing palette if we already have a mixing area in our portable Altoids palette. I've previously mixed up the color in um, on my paper here and this is the wash that I mixed up in the little mixing area here exactly the same as this this has been allowed to dry so when I superimpose the same wash over everything but the last inch here I get a darker version of the color then what I need to do is dry it with a hair dryer or let it dry out in the sun. Now we take the same wash after this has been dried and we superimpose that over all but this second inch here at the end. See how the layering is giving me gradients from lighter to slightly darker to slightly darker. Each time, this so you can see that this is one, two, three layers here. This is one layer here. This is two layers here. Now we'll dry this and put the last layer on. The same color again, but it has to dry, be dried in between. Okay, now I'm going to put the last layer of this mixture on top in the first inch and leave the remainder showing one, two, three, four different layers one at a time superimposed over each other. In watercolor that's called glazing or layering and you can slowly build up your shadow colors or your form shadows on things by waiting for the previous wash to dry. You'll notice that every time you superimpose a new wash over a previous one, where the wet paper meets the dry paper, creates a, an edge or a line. A more direct form of gradation can be achieved by putting some paint on the tip of your brush and then squeezing and pushing as you apply the pressure of the brush to the paper. So if you're just doing a small area, then you can take any color and create a gradation that way. Add water at the end to push the paint back. You can do that with any color that you have. press and the water is coming out near the heel of the brush. Oops, I just tapped it in there. <laughs> Put extra color in there by mistake. There we go. So just pressing the heel of the brush down applies some extra water in there and gives you a smaller version of the gradation without having to do layers. Here's an example of adding one layer at a time in a subject matter like a lily pond where to get the darks you just wait till the underpainting is dry and then you add another layer and then another layer and another layer. And here's a more advanced example of multiple layering and 
using the pressure method for gradation. <laughs> 